Uh, I love the fact how they, uh, how they try and uh, legalize Berlin right at Görlitzer Park. You guys heard about that? They want to legalize uh, weed only at Görlitzer Park. <laughs> like, like, I'm totally for legalizing weed because you should legalize weed. That's a great thing. But their argument is total bullshit, in my opinion. Because they go, oh, it's too much weed crime going on here, so we're just going to make it legal here. <laughs> It's basically going, oh, there's too many car crashes in this intersection, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the traffic lights away and uh, let God sort them out, I guess. Or, uh, dude, dude, people are stealing too much at our shop. I guess everything is free now. <laughs> or what if in my country they go, oh, you know, the whole system's corrupt. Every election is fake. Why don't we just get one guy who... Okay, maybe. <laughs> Maybe that is how people do so. Not sure. Um, but yeah, I do. I do really, really love to get high. <laughs> the other day, I got high after a show, and I went home by train again. And I sat down. It was an empty four seater, and I was just happy, you know, smiling, staring to the middle distance, thinking of nothing really. And after I realized, a while, I realized that there's this giant, big fat ball dude who sat right across from me. <laughs> and I've been staring directly into his face, smiling. <laughs> like an insane person for probably five stops now. And he smiled back. <laughs> Which was kind of nice, but also the creepiest thing that ever happened to me. So I immediately broke eye contact and started looking to my window reflection to see if he could see that I was high. You know? <laughs> And that's when I realized on this day I was wearing green shoes, green pants, and I had a pullover like this, but in green, with my hoodie up in green, while my eyes were basically bleeding. <laughs> I, I didn't look like a guy walking around being high. I looked like a bag of marijuana walking around being weed. <laughs> so, but when I do get high, uh, I really, really love to listen to this band, the Kings of Convenience. Yeah? Come on, show of hands. Who's a Kings of Korean fan in this room? Oh, that's a lot. I can score a lot of weed after the show. That's perfect. <laughs> For those of you who don't know them, just to know what they sound like, just imagine that weed, cotton candy, and clouds learned how to play the acoustic guitar. Okay, that's what they sound like. And they had the greatest European tour poster that I've ever seen. Because it was a big European tour, but only one gig per capita. So it was Berlin, one gig, London, one gig, Paris, one gig, Amsterdam, five gigs. <laughs> All sold out. It's a band that's found its demographic. Uh, but if other very, very, no, not very sad, but pretty sad thing happened recently where a very good friend of mine has lost weed and he was very heartbroken about it. And he called me and he went, you know what, Alex, I think weed has to be among the top three things that people lose. <laughs> and I thought about it and I said, you know what, that depends. Do you count friends, time, and hope? <laughs> he stopped calling me after that. <laughs> So I guess I have lost a friend who has lost weed. And all of you listening to this have clearly lost time. Hope remains, people. Hope remains. <laughs> oh, haven't seen you there. Dear fellow pot smokers. Dear fellow pot smokers. Please enjoy my free comedy special. It's right over here. I can almost pet it. Enjoy it for free. <laughs> that was on me. Also, if you want to be a massive legend and support your boy, download my album. It's in the description box. In the description box. Oh. Stay smoked. <laughs>